Hello, I'm Dennis with DoItYourselfDennis.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to lay tile, uh, specifically mosaic tile, on a ceiling of a shower. A um, couple of things you're going to need to start with. You're going to need a trowel. I'm going to use a quarter inch by quarter inch notched trowel. You can also use for mosaics the uh, quarter inch um, V shaped instead of square. I'll need tape measure, pencil. Um, it's a good idea to have a little putty knife and I'll show you why here in a few minutes. And then I always use a screwdriver. I have a little screwdriver on hand in case you have some of the mortar or the thin set come up through the crack of the uh, tile. You can kind of scrape it out and get rid of it. You may or may not use spacers. Um, most of the time with mosaics, they aren't very true, so they aren't exactly straight. So sometimes you'll have to kind of play with it a little bit. And a towel, you want to use a wet, keep a wet towel on hand because uh, you're going to get mortar on or thin set on the tile itself. So you want to wipe it down with that to get the thin set off. You'll need a five gallon bucket. Um, if you can find a deep one, it's better to get a deep one if you can. Because uh, if you mix up a 50 pound bag of thin set, um, it's gonna, it comes up pretty close. I mean, on this tall bucket, it comes up to about here. So you want to get a good bucket. Um, and I guess that's about it. You'll need a mixer. Uh, grab that mixer in there real quick. Okay. But you want to get a mixer uh, to mix your thin set with and knee pads, good thing to have. Uh, something else is a chalk box, you want a chalk box. Um, so let's get started. And one of the things you're gonna wanna, I like to do is to lay my tile out uh, dry so that I kind of get an idea of how I want, exactly how I wanna lay it out. Um, because you might have to cut off a little on one end or you know even it up. So you start out by finding your center and so we've got got our center mark i've already marked it there and generally i'll start out laying the tile i'll line my edge up with that line and i'll lay it across and see how it works out and then so you can't fit i'll go ahead and make my gap and you can't fit another one in so you're going to get a measurement so it's about nine inches on both sides so the other way, uh, and you can figure out, so if it's nine inches, so that means you're gonna be cutting your tile right across through here. So all this is basically gonna be waste. So something else I do is I go ahead and I measure over six inches from that where I originally started out at. If we were at 21, okay, we're gonna make it 27. So you make your mark there. And then you line your, your tile up to it, and you lean on your next one. Go ahead and make your gap. Put one down here. And now get a measurement, and you're about three inches on that side, and three inches on this side. So it works out, really works out perfect. You have very little scrap doing it this way because then you're going to cut this at three inches. So that means you're going to have this piece is three inches and this piece is three inches. Then you can cut this one at three inches. And so you get four pieces out of this that there's absolutely no waste at all. And in this particular job, the difference was, and I figured it up, if I did it the first way, I used 30 tile. If I did it the second way, I only use 26 tile, and I don't have any waste, so or very little waste. So you want to keep that in mind, and then also you want to take your tile and go ahead and run a line across to the other side. You can't see it because because of the wall, but you'll go ahead and run this all the way to the other end and see where you fall down there, so that you know if you need to cut some of this off so that it's even. So you have the same amount from here to here. 
you know, so that it, it breaks right and looks like it's centered. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're ready to set up our lines to uh, lay our first row of tile out on. And what I do is I measure over, I get my center mark, and it's going to be about 21 inches or right at 21 inches. So I've already made my mark there, that's my center. And if you remember right how I laid the tile out on the floor, we were going to move it over six inches. So I put my tape measure on seven and I mark over to the one. And then I make my little mark. And then what I do is I'll take my square and turn it around backwards basically. And make me a line out so that it's easier to get your hold your chalk line onto it. Now I've already done the other end, so we're going to chalk a line real quick here. Put your line on there. Pull your line straight down and pop it. And voila, we got a line on our ceiling. And then we are going to, I'm going to take, you can take a board or something and put it up there. Or in this case, I found a piece of scrap drywall. So I'm going to put it up with it, and I'm going to, now that there's a floor, ceiling joist that goes across through here, so I'm going to line the, I went ahead and put some screws in this drywall, and I'm going to line this drywall up to the line, and then run my screw in. And that's going to give us something nice and real straight to go by. So. It's good. It's where it wants to be. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the screws in and then we'll uh, mix up our thin set and we'll get ready to uh, put the tile on. Okay, we're ready to put our tile up. We've got our straight edge up here, and we got our thin set. I mix a thin set a little bit thick. Um, it calls for six quarts of water, and I put in five and three quarters of a quart of water. So um, to get it to stick to the top, you're just gonna get you a little bit of thin set. Start spreading it out. I'm using a quarter inch by quarter inch square notch trowel. You could, Mike can get away with um, a V trowel, V notch, quarter by. But where that's what you'd normally use with uh, with the mosaics is a quarter V notch, but. This being up here on the ceiling, I decided I'd rather use the quarter. Okay, so we got that kind of smoothed out. And then you're going to go back and put your, normally you would put your trowel at a pretty decent angle. Can you see that? You're going to do it at a pretty decent angle, but where this, I'm not using the quarter inch uh, V notch, I'm going to reduce it some. So, <laughs> kind of messy. Try to 
get it all over you, but... up against the straight edge and you're gonna need to push every one of them in. You can kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit, get it to seat good for you. It might be a good idea to get a wet rag and wipe your hands off a little bit. And you want to get all the air bubbles out. You got the first one set. And get your next one. spacing over here. Like I say you can use the spacers but doing it on the ceiling is a little tough and again the mosaics tend to not be all spaced evenly like they should be. Okay and we're going to put our little piece in there. Set your spacing by, not the best way to do it is just by eyesight, really. And uh, just get it up there as evenly as you can. Uh, hand me that level, that's in, there's a black level in there, I think. You can take a straight edge and put it on here to make sure that you're pretty straight across. Oh, it looks pretty good. Now we're going to put some more here and just continue on. Let me get the next one on. And... towel down at the bottom of the steps. Never mind, don't worry about it.
You want to check your lines. And that's pretty much it. And then you just continue on out. And then you'll take the, the straight edge down. And then you'll go on from there. Um, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do with these... Is I'm going to go ahead and just scrape that out of there. And then... Once I get them all up, then I'll come back and just butter the, you know, cut my pieces to fit in there and just butter them, uh, you know, with a putty knife and stick them up in there. So um, when I get to that point, I'll show you how to do that. But you just keep on out, going out. Like I said, it's a good idea to go ahead and get a, a wet rag. And you might even get a, a screwdriver. And if you've got spots like it's coming through there, you can take that screwdriver and kind of clean that out a little bit. So, uh, just kind of be careful what you're doing and pay attention. It'll come out great. What I was talking about was like right here, the mortar has squished up in it a little bit. So I'll scrape that off and then I'll go over it with a wet rag. And, uh, okay, to fill these pieces in, all you do is you, you cut your piece to size. This one or this one, honey. Then you're gonna butter a little, uh, a little bit of the thin set on the back, and just like you normally would scrape it, and put it up there. There's not a whole lot to it. Just center it in there like it should be. And that's all there is to that. Um, so that's how you put a put a ceiling or tile on the ceiling in a shower. Uh, thanks for watching and check out my other videos at doityourselfdentist.com. Thanks again.